In this video, I want to show you how to use the direct selection tool, your white arrow, and how to adjust picture frames. So in this ad that I'm making for Owl TV, I want all these pictures to have the similar angle going all the way down. Instead of using just the regular rectangle tool, I have to also use the direct selection tool to adjust the rectangle as I go. So you can see a clear line has been set going down the images. Let's turn it on to draft mode just to, so you can see the lines of the images. So um, if I click each picture, I can see a white box appear. If it doesn't appear, then you have to click off, click back on sometimes. So you would use your white arrow to adjust these points up and down the line. Right here, the photo has actually been cut off, so I want to increase the size of that photo going to the Freeze Transform tool and holding down Shift and increasing the size of the photo so it fits in that box a little bit better. I want to also create a box right here. So to do it from scratch, turn on your rectangle tool and draw the rectangle all the way down. Let's fill it with a color so you can actually see won't be the color that sticks around, but just a color for now. So when I turn on the white arrow, my all my points turn blue. If I go to click that point, it doesn't work right now because the points are blue, so it's going to adjust the whole thing. So Command-Z to undo. I want to click off, click back on, grab that point, and adjust. It won't let you grab the individual point until the point is white. And then you can adjust all the corners until you like what you see. So I can do another one at the bottom here, go all the way across. And in this case, uh, the point is white already. Turn on my white arrow, click on the white point, and drag. Drag again. So I want it to align with this, and I also want it to align on the one on the right. Let's fill it in with a color. And I'm going to turn on my preview mode, hitting the letter W. And then I can adjust also a little bit at a time with my arrows on my keyboard. And you can do this all the way around until you get the look that you, that you want. And I want them to go off the page, so I'm just going to drag so there's no white space on the, on the side here. And I can just keep doing this over and over again for my tools until I get the look that I'm going for. 